Hi, and welcome to another edition of Brigandi TV. I'm Chris Brigandi of Brigandi Coins and Collectibles here in New York City, and we have a great assortment of Babe Ruth single sign baseballs today. Uh, single sign Ruth balls are considered the holy grail in our hobby. They're the safest investment. They've continually gone up in value um, since autograph collecting has become commercialized and invested in, and they are probably the item we get most uh, questions about. Um, Babe Ruth single sign baseballs. So let's get right to it. We have four baseballs here. Um, so we're going to put the question to the viewer. Which one would you put in your personal collection? Which one, in your opinion, is the highest graded? Um, we have four here. If you get a little closer, maybe. Um, so now that you had a moment to select one, um, I'm going to tell you that they're all authenticated, first of all. But the question was, which is the highest grade? So they're all pretty nice baseballs, actually. They're all, you know, at least 30 grand and up. Um, some of them 40, 50, 60 thousand dollars here. But these three on uh, your right, my left here, these are great balls. But this one over here is definitely the highest grade, or so you might think in your first uh, look. But if you can get them a little tight here, again, it's a completely authentic baseball. But once upon a time, somewhere along the line here, somebody took this baseball and it was likely signed or had something else on the different panels around the edges here of either other signatures, maybe a personalization. Um, at this point, we don't know exactly because all we have now is a ball that has actually been um, painted with almost like a clear creamy um, colored paint, almost like a shellac. <clears throat> And usually when we see these type of balls, you see them a lot in, in auction. They don't bring a lot uh, big numbers, but they're usually, you can see someone either took like um, a harsh object and either erased something or, you know, sandpaper and scraped something off. But in this case, it looks nearly perfect. If this ball didn't have um, any issues with it and was actually just a beautiful white baseball, this, this would probably be graded um, at least an eight, probably a mint nine signature. And if you followed the hobby at all, nine and a half graded Ruth Bowl is the highest graded, which sold for just um, shy of $400,000. And that was six years ago. And recently an eight and a half brought almost $200,000 um, last year. So something like this, yeah, it would be worth a couple hundred thousand dollars. But again, it has an issue of either a, a removal, but it was paint it over we don't know exactly what it is so yeah if you can get in close um what's really interesting is that they didn't just simply take off an autograph they painted inside of each letter and the way they did it was so meticulous it's to the untrained eye you would never even notice it they did such a great job um it's hard to tell but i think they shellacked the signature as well um, to protect it, which is why it jumps out at you and so bold. Um, we always say to tell a high-grade Ruth signature. If you stand across the room and hold it up, if someone else can read it from about 20, 30, 40 feet away, you know, that's how you know you have a, a good uh, a monster piece, as we say. So I'm just going to turn it around here so you can see um, the back of it, how clean it is. Um, they actually even, it's not an official ball, but they actually even went in between the logo of the Wilson. Let me turn around for you there. Every, each and every stitch they went in between with the paint, every letter on the ball, on the um, stamps on the ball they went in between. Um, it's for such a odd item, they did an incredible job. It probably wasn't even worth the uh, work and the amount of time they spent uh, doing it. Because unfortunately, this takes a ball. Um, again, if it was it had no problems, be at least two hundred thousand dollars. But it takes a ball with issues, and you know it's unfortunately probably about ten to twenty thousand dollars in auction like this. Um, I've seen other balls, like I said, uh, scraped off the personalization. So maybe on the side it would say to Frank or to Chris or to whoever, and they just take sandpaper or something really harsh and they scrape it off. And you notice it, just it's a big blemish on the ball or it's, you know, a big abrasion. Um, so something like this, it's really important, you know, you know who you're buying from. Um, again, everything here is PSA and JSA uh, authenticated, but stuff like this, you really have to be careful because you don't know 
to the untrained eye, this looks like a $200,000 or more baseball. So you really have to be careful, um, even if it is authenticated. Um, so unfortunately, you wouldn't want to own that Babe Ruth ball. Um, you'd want to own one of these three instead. And again, these start at twenty, thirty thousand dollars and go up um, easily fifty, sixty for some of them. But again, the ball is really important in the grading world. Um, unfortunately, it's as important as the quality of the signature, which we'll do a whole separate video um, in the future about how uh, baseballs get graded and autographs get graded. Um, so again, be really careful when you're buying stuff like this, even if it is authenticated. Um, make sure people, you know, people don't always disclose every issue they have with the baseball. So, yeah, this looks great on a shelf. Will look great in your collection. And maybe if you could buy it for ten, twenty thousand dollars, it saves you the two hundred thousand dollar price tag of one that didn't have any issues. But real collectors, pure purebred collectors, they like items like this, untouched, completely original. If they have the defects, it's supposed to have them. Um, but again, different price points for that reason. So Babe Ruth, the Holy Grail, the safest investment, if you know what you're doing, buying stuff like this, not like this. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Please like, uh, share the video, and we'll see you again next time on Brigandi TV.